what's up guys we're in our creative world and what we're gonna be doing today is making a secret library So, you can see here, that we have the outline already established, and I made a book with quill, and we've signed it, and written in it, and that's important because it's going to give out a redstone signal and depending on how long your book is it's going to give out a longer signal for as long as the book is so we put a comparator behind this block and it has to be this way so this room can be set up however you want I just made it like this but however you set the room up if you want it to work the way that this is working you're gonna have to have a gap like this of three blocks so there's enough space for this to run a redstone stone signal and there's gonna be a redstone torch on the back of this block which means you have to run this redstone signal so that it's not touching the redstone that's going to be on the back of this. So we're basically going to have a block here with a redstone torch on the back of it. Which means if you put redstone here, this torch is going to power that and this is not going to work. So, build the room however you want, keeping in mind that the back of each of these pistons will have a redstone torch which you'll see in a little bit but we go back to page one on the book the comparator is here so you can see that when we run a redstone line this is powering that redstone the further we go in the book the further the redstone line is gonna go so wherever you want your power to be like whatever page you want to open the door is basically where you're gonna put your redstone repeater so we'll do page five to open this door down here so we'll put the redstone repeater there And we might have to put another redstone repeater. No, I don't think we will. So, page five will open this door. And all you're really going to do put two redstone torches one block down behind this piston and then use any block to cover that and you're just going to connect 
the line between these torches. But we do have to run it so it's not touching this block. And there you go. And we're going to cover all of this so it's irrelevant. This is really the only piece that will be seen, but you can, we can still cover that. So now this door opens when we're on page five. Now our redstone line will continue to this one and you can see once we put our torches it closes and the only way that's going to open is when we run our line to connect it now our redstone signal goes here because we're on page 5 we skip ahead, say, to page 10, and you can see our reds. So, we'll go to page 12. And we got that door open. So again, our torches will have to use multiple repeaters here. And we might be able to use this repeater. But it's best if we don't, because once the line runs into this repeater, so it would actually be easiest if we put our repeater here, so that way the line can just run past the repeater. which means we'll have to go a little bit further in our book. And you can see that closes when we go below. When we get up to page 18, it will go. When we go to the last page, it'll open all three doors. So it would have been probably a little better. See how a lot of doors are closed to make this book a little bit longer just so there's more space in between but basically we have the functioning aspect of our door so all you really have to do is cover this stuff up expand these doors which is super simple to do and you can do it as high as you want so to make the doors higher like I said you can do this as high as you want we'll 
go. We'll do four. So in order to do that, all you're going to do is put a torch on each side of this block. You can use any blocks you want. Because they're going to be covered anyway. And you can see we're making a little bridge upward. And that's it. And these will all open basically simultaneously. And you're going to repeat the same exact thing. on all three sides. And this is a really cool door, which I have a tutorial for already. This system here can be used so many different ways. Like if you wanted to just put pressure plates here, you know, on each side, all you have to do is connect to that line. So if you want to do pressure plates here, you could do pressure plates here. If you wanted to use a button system, you could use a button system. Um, you could use a lever system. If you use a lever system, the door is just going to open and stay open. There's no way to override it. Because all you need is anything that will give you, you know, a temporary impulse to the door. But again, you can stack this as high as you want. You can open 50 of these doors if you wanted to build 50 doors to open through just one redstone output. You could. I don't know why you would need 50 doors, but if you were feeling crazy and you wanted 50 doors, you could make it happen. So every door just needs one line like this. And it's basically done. All you have to do is decorate it. So you go into your book. We're on page five. This door opens. And get to page 17, 18. That door opens. You go one page further and all three of your doors are open and you want to close the doors you just go back down in page you can hear the other one closed the last one closed
And so all that you have left to do is decorate this and hide all your redstone. And on the back of those doors, you can do whatever you wanted. This will be our entrance. great door to do in a survival world because the supplies are obviously super 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 cheap I mean the pistons will be the biggest expense but you know the books will be tough to achieve in survival mode but you get yourself a nice little leather farm and a sugarcane farm and you'll have the books you need in no time. And you got some lovely bookcases. You can obviously decorate this however your little heart desires.
And somewhere in here is that lantern. Can take some of those though. obviously add more lecterns to kind of make it less suspicious. Do some red carpet. Some either trapdoors, you can use trapdoors, you could actually use carpet. <clears throat> and you can use pressure plates. these little tables. I don't know if you did the same on this side.
Always gotta make sure if you're building this, and especially if in survival, you're gonna want a lot of light. <clears throat> Unless you want to get your library blown to smithereens. These books in the survival world, trust me, you don't want... You don't want this to get blown up. obviously cover up the mossy stone brick because it's a little overwhelming you can always mix that out with regular stone brick Just some regular stone, or even a little cobblestone would be all right. And we broke our chair.
already looking much better. <laughs> and down goes another chair.
And then you get your nice little library. We don't want to do that. <clears throat> All of our doors are open. And so obviously you're just going to cover these up. And you'd obviously cover you know the outside of this however you wanted this is obviously going to be the inside of a tower so you're not actually going to see this outer part once it's finished it'll be a giant library but when you're sealing this up we're not going to do the whole build in this video But you can just cover all of this up and then obviously you know covering these up makes no difference you can do that however you want like I said this is going to be the inside of a larger library like building the only thing you're not going to be able to do is put a block here and a block here because it's going to cut that red stone signal off so when you build your wall you're going to have to take that in into account you know and just kind of hide that which you'd probably do anyway because most likely you're going to have you know some kind of wall on the outside so when you walk through it's going to be like a little hallway You know that you can walk down maybe come into this room you could have this you know just open up you know and go down into a little staircase into a room that's down here obviously just covering up the redstone as much as you can you know and then that this door can go into this room and this one could go down into another little hallway Could have you know multiple secret rooms you know or if you even wanted to just build a bedroom off of this room for you know the librarians to sleep the sky is yours but that's basically all we're gonna do today secret library
the mag. I hope you guys enjoy and good luck if you're making this in your survival world. Be a pretty fun thing to to have, I think. But that's it for today, guys. So thanks. See you next time.